welcome to Crafty Parasites, where we make pesky parasites lovable through art and science. What's a parasite? A parasite is a big, small or tiny microbes that lives on an other living thing called its host. A parasite feeds and takes what it needs out of the host and can make the host sick as it sucks out nutrients like blood or by digging into its body and multiplying, which can make the host really sick. We're all too familiar with the pesky mosquito that makes us real itchy with their bites. The mosquito is a kind of ectoparasite. Ecto means outside. And just like head lice and bed bugs, which are also ectoparasites, they freeload on the outside of the host, feeding on human blood. Some mosquitoes can pass on serious and sometimes deadly diseases like malaria. Yes, in fact. Every year. Half million died, two million cried At the loss of young lives In Africa, Latin America And Southeast Asia The same sad song lies and loss In Papua New Guinea The jungle I love that's infested with malaria Supply lab culturing of parasites in plastic dishes with candlelight. Check them every day as they replicate, and the dose is needed to eradicate. But, Karina, do we have malaria in Australia? We used to have malaria here, but luckily, not anymore. Although, there are cases in Australia where people have been infected by malaria parasites from overseas. What happens? is as the female mosquito feeds with its pointy long mouth part called a proboscis, it pierces through the skin into a blood vessel. As the mosquito sucks blood from the host, it spits out saliva at the same time because the saliva has a mild anesthetic to make sure you don't feel it as it's feeding on you and it keeps the blood flowing too. So if the mozzies carry malaria parasites, the little sporoid side stage hitch a ride in the saliva of the mosquito and infects the person. The malaria sporozoids swim through the blood vessel to live in the liver for about a week. Although some type of malaria can sleep in the liver for months. When a parasites break out of the liver cells, they go on to invade red blood cells. Red cells are called erythrocytes, and every 48 hours, the microscopic malaria will grow in these red cell houses and eats the hemoglobin inside. Hemoglobin helps our red cells to carry oxygen. The mirozoite grows into a ring, which over the next 20, 30 hours, it fattens up into a trovozoite. And by about 48 hours later, it would be fully grown into a pregnant mama called a shizont. Hello! Each shizont carries an average of 15 baby mirozoites. So, at the end of 48 hours, these baby mirozoites burst out of the red cell and invade a new red cell. And the cycle starts all over again. Can you imagine? That's a lot of red cells bursting every two days. 
And it's when the red cells burst as the parasites escape, that's when the person becomes really sick with fever and chills and shivering. Some malaria parasites do change out of the red blood cell cycle to become banana-shaped male and female forms called gametocytes. It is the gametocyte that infects the next mosquito that comes for a blood meal. So the malaria parasite spends half of its life cycle in the mozzie and half in the human host. <coughs> Since malaria lives inside the host, scientists classify malaria as an endoparasite. <music> to make a mosquito, we will need three pipe cleaners, craft glue, a pair of scissors and two googly eyes. For the wings, we cut the pipe cleaner into two third length. A pipe cleaner is about 30 centimetres, so if we divide it into three, we have 10 centimetres each. Two thirds means 20 centimetres. We keep the little piece for the eyes. To make the wings, bend the ends towards the centre and give it a twist like this. So we end up with two loops for the wings. To make the eyes, Take the short piece, roll the ends towards the centre. We then stick the googly eyes on with some glue. For the legs, Cut the pipe cleaner into three equal parts. Twist them together at the center with one large bend for the knee and one smaller bend for each foot. For the proboscis, which is the needle of the mosquito, cut the pipe cleaner into two third length. We poke this through the face Bend the dark piece around to make the belly. The rest is used as the body where we twist the wings onto it. Bend the pipe cleaner backwards to hold the legs in place. The mosquito. To make the malaria parasite red blood cell stages, you will need four light purple pipe cleaners, two dark purple pipe cleaners, two tiny dark purple pompons, and you will need a pink and a yellow or brown pipe cleaner that we will cut up for tiny pieces. To make the spurs white, it's pretty easy. Just take a quarter length light purple piece, cut it in half so we can make two spirals of whites. Bend it into an S shape, then wrap a tiny dark purple piece around the middle. The spirals of white. <laughs> to make the ring, cut a light purple pipe cleaner into four equal length pieces. Take one piece and cut in the middle into two pieces. Using your nails, work along the wire to make little bends into a tight ring. Place the tiny dark purple pom-pom between the ends. Repeat to make the second malaria ring. Make the ring. To make the truffles are white, take a quarter length piece of light purple pipe cleaner. 
Using your nails, work along the wire to make little bends into a full circle. Cut three tiny pieces, pink, yellow, dark purple and insert into the circle. Wrap another piece of quarter length around the outside. The trough is all right. To make the shies on, take a light purple half length piece, make it into a tight coil. Cut eight tiny pieces of dark purple, carefully fit each piece in between the coil. These represent the baby myrosites. Most of these will fit, but you can also use a little bit of glue to stick the last few on. Cut a tiny piece of yellow, fit it into the coil. This represents the malaria pigment from the digested hemoglobin. Using your nails, work along to curl another half length light purple, wrap it around the outside. Fit the remaining five tiny pieces of dark purple and pink sandwiched in the coil. Put the shies on. To make the gamete sides, for the male gametocyte, use a light purple two-third length back cleaner. Bend the ends towards the center. Squish together into a sausage shape. Tuck the ends into the center space. Cut tiny pieces of pink, yellow and purple. Put the tiny pieces in between the light purple pipe cleaner. Take care when handling little pieces, they may be sharp. Using your nails, work along the wire to pre curl half length pipe cleaner. Loosely fit around the previous sausage shape, ensuring there is a small gap on one end. The male gametocyte. To make a female gametocyte, instead of light purple, use a two-third length darker purple pipe cleaner. The female gametocyte. Fascinating creatures magnify. Small bugs, microscopic bugs, zero to an eight eyes to compound eyes. Some live outside, some live inside. Watch out for the hungry ones called parasites. Big bugs, small bugs, microscopic bugs. You can use your mosquito and malaria parasite models to teach others about this deadly disease. I've also prepared some ready to print colour pages of red blood cells, of blood vessels, of the liver that you can cut out and laminate and even make your own stop motion film just like Wallace and Gromit. We also have curriculum aligned teachers notes that you can refer to and many other wonderful resources that you can get from the ASP website. Thank you for joining us on Crafty Parasites. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Two of these. <laughs>
。<笑>对。